All right, so there are some special angle pairs that we're going to talk about today. So keyword here is pairs. There are two angles in a pair. So in order for us to be talking about complementary angles or supplementary angles, we're talking about two angles. So it's impossible to say, oh, that angle is complementary. Complementary to what? It's a pair of angles that are complementary, or it's a pair of angles that are supplementary. So you have to have two angles in order for these relationships to exist. So first vocab word is complementary angles. So for angles to be complementary, it's two angles with measures that have a sum of 90 degrees. So when two angles add up to 90 degrees, when their measures add up to 90 degrees, they're called complementary. So I put a couple examples right here. So first, we see this box. That tells us that that's a right angle. So this whole enchilada angle is a right angle. That's 90 degrees. So that means that part plus part equals whole. This means that angle one and angle two are complementary because they add together to equal 90 degrees. So we can say angle one and angle two are complementary. We can say the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 90 degrees. So that makes angle one and angle two complementary. The second situation we have angle A and angle B. 65 degrees plus 25 degrees equals 90 degrees. So angle A and angle B are also complementary, even though in the first situation, these two angles are touching. We're gonna learn a vocab word next time called adjacent. These are adjacent, these are non-adjacent. They're not touching. Do you see that gap between them? They don't, they don't have the same vertex. This angle has vertex A and this angle has vertex B, but 65 plus 25 still equals 90, so these angles are also still complementary. So we can say angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary because they add up to 90 degrees. Angle A and angle B are complementary because they add up to 90 degrees. Their measures add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles with measures that have a sum of 180. So complementary is 90, supplementary is 180. So we learned last time that when you have two opposite rays like this, that's a straight angle, and we know that that uh, sorry, we know that the measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees. So since this is a straight angle, this whole bad boy, this whole enchilada is 180 degrees. So angle three and angle four are the two parts. Part plus part equals whole. That means that the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four, part plus part equals the whole enchilada, 180. So since three and four both add up to 180, since their measures add up to 180, that means angle three and angle four are supplementary. Over here, P and Q, the measure of angle P is 120, the measure of angle Q is 60, and we know 120 plus 60 equals 180. So even though these two angles aren't adjacent, they don't have the same vertex, there's this gap, they're separate from each other, because they have a sum of 180, because they add up to 180 degrees, they add together to equal 180, P and Q are also supplementary. So three and four, angle three and angle four are supplementary, angle P and angle Q are supplementary as well. Okay, first example, the measure of two supplementary angles are uh, a 10X, plus 15 degrees and 4x plus 25 degrees. Find the measure of each angle. So we have two angles and if they're supplementary, that means they add together to equal 180. And the first angle plus the second angle, their measures add up to 180 if they're supplementary. So our first angle is 10x plus 15. Our second angle is 4x plus 25. When we add those two angles together, because they're supplementary, they should add up to 180. So I'm going to combine like terms. 10x plus 4x is 14x. And 15 plus 25 is 40. Equals 180. And so now I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides. And so I get 14x equals 140. And I divide by 14 on both sides. And x is 10. But it says find the measure of each angle, so that means I'm going to go plug 10 in for x into both of these angles. So one of my angles is 10 times 10 is 100, plus, one, plus 15 is 115 degrees. Mm. 
and the second angle is 4 times 10 which is 40 plus 25 is 65 degrees and you can double check 115 plus 65 equals 180 as they should they should have to add up to 180 because they're both supplementary